I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com and we're here near the Arizona-Nevada border right near the infamous section of Highway 68 commonly known as the Davis Dam section for tow testing. We've brought two 2013 Ram 1500s to do some tow testing ourselves. But for right now, let's take a closer look and see what each of these trucks has to offer. Our blue Ram 1500, four doors, two wheel drive, short rear bed, SLT trim package. As a consequence, not a lot of frills. This truck has the 321 gears for extra fuel economy, front bucket seats split 40, 20, 40 with a movable center console, and it does have the Uconnect but no nav screen. So it looks very bare bones and actually is a pretty good deal at just under $38,000. Our red Ram 1500, just under $44,000. Our red Ram has a lot of similarities to our other truck. Four door, two wheel drive, short bed, V6, eight speed SLT model. But there are several differences, not the least of which are the bucket seats and center console, does have the Uconnect and 8.4 inch screen, nav system, also offers the air suspension package and the Ram box option just for this truck alone. But probably the most significant difference and one that we intentionally made for this tow test, because this is the truck that's gonna be towing the 5,500 pound trailer, 355 gears instead of the shorter 321 gears. So you've seen the trucks, but we're here to do testing. Behind me is the Davis Dam grade. We're gonna be taking these two rams with and without trailer up and down this hill to find out how well they tow. For those longtime pickuptrucks.com readers, you might remember that about a year and a half ago, we two, took two F-150 FX2s on a huge 23, 2400 mile circuit to test the new EcoBoost to its maximum. We're taking a portion of that test and putting these new 2013 Ram 1500s to the same test. Our first series of tests were conducted on the Davis Dam grade that averages over 5% along that specific section of Highway 68. On the day of our testing, there was a slight westerly breeze and temperatures were about 55 degrees. Our red 4x2 SLT towing our 5,500 pound American horse trailer, which put us just above 96% of our truck's gross combined weight rating, pulled the Davis Dam Hill climb strong and confidently with a 17.74 second 0 to 50 time. On level ground, the same truck and trailer combination ran a 0 to 50 time of 11.54 seconds. Neither of these two numbers may sound interesting by themselves, but when compared to the two truck road tests we did with a pair of 2011 Ford F-150 EcoBoosts, interestingly, these Davis Dam and level ground towing numbers are practically identical. Quarter mile times and speeds were right on top of each other as well. With our Ram V6, and trailer combination finishing in just 24.35 seconds at 55.47 miles per hour. Of course, we should note that although both tests had their respective vehicles very close to their gross combined vehicle limits, the F-150's twin turbo EcoBoost was towing a 9,000 pound trailer, whereas the Ram's naturally aspirated V6 was towing a 5,500 pound trailer. That's important to make sure we understand. But of course, we didn't just test our Ram 1500 with the trailer. We actually tested both the 321 to 1 geared blue Ram and 355 to 1 red Ram at Davis Dam and on level ground to compare their numbers with each other as well as the Ford's EcoBoost story we did previously. And the results were again quite interesting. In fact, in both testing situations, empty trucks on the Davis Dam grade and on level ground, the two Ram pickup trucks were within hundreds of a second of each other, making us think that the new ZF 8-speed transmissions are working very hard to transfer every ounce of engine power, no matter what the rear end gear. And as to overall fuel economy, on our two-truck Ram road test, our empty blue Ram achieved 23 miles per gallon over our 1,400-mile trip while our red Ram V6 towing at max GCWR achieved well over 10 miles per gallon. Not bad at all in either case. 
So there you have it. That's the story that we've put together on these Ram V6s. But if you want to get all the details, performance, fuel economy, and even our route, go to pickuptrucks.com for the full story.